Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. So, I spent the last 10 minutes or so trying to figure out how we could get wiring from up here all the way down to the hallway below without exposing the wiring. I wanted to go ahead and plan this out so I didn't just do it blind and we spend 30 minutes here of me trying to figure this out on a recording. So I think I've come up with the best possible solution. I have not tried it. Don't know if it's going to work. Uh, but I marked out on the concrete where each light should go. And I'll probably use these lights right here, little dome lights. And so I'll go from here to here. And then from there to here. From there to here. And from there down to a light on the wall right there where you see the concrete. So, uh, only one way to know if it's going to work. Well, first thing I need to do is make a splint to heal this leg so I'm not dying every time I jump one block. My goodness. Didn't heal this from uh, yesterday's episode. I was so wrapped up in trying to, uh, trying to get that figured out. <clears throat> I think that's the solution, folks. I think it's going to work. I can't say for sure. Let's see a splint. We need duct tape and we need wood and cloth. Uh, we may as well go ahead and make a few of these. Um, that'll hold us over for just a short while. Stick this back in there. Uh, I'm going to put this in here. Also, today is stream day. We're going to be streaming today. Tonight. Uh, probably about 6 p.m. Uh, my time, Eastern time. Okay, let me do another sort. Let me go ahead and use this splint. Put the splints in the first aid. And lights. We need, what do I need for these types of lights? Let's see. I need, oh, easy enough. Look at that. There's nothing to it. Okay. All right. I can handle that. Now let's see how long it's going to take to make these silver dome lights. We could make 68. Let's make, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and make 20 of them. And we'll probably have some extras left over. While I'm here, get a few things sorted. Uh, I probably don't need that anymore. Might need those. We have bulletproof glass plate, business glass plate, business block, and we're going to need all of that. Uh, I don't think we need the switches anymore. Of course, I can probably put those down in electrical would make the most sense. And someone was getting on me the other day about not having enough spotlights outside. We're going we're gonna to do that. We're going to absolutely do that, but I have to finish the concrete first. Uh, that has to be the first thing that I do. Uh because we have to put the concrete on the ground to build a structure on top of it to house the spotlights, right? <laughs> so, can't get ahead of myself there. We'll get around to it. Another thing I was thinking about, I need more fuel. I need more fuel. Uh, we can't make more fuel when we have tens of thousands of gunpowder crafting, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, let's put this in there. Get this fuel back up, turn it on. Another 5,000 to go. Believe that? That's a ton. Uh, but the reason I said that is uh, we need to fuel the generators all back up again. And um, we're probably going to run out because it takes 10,000 per generator. Right now I can only fuel one, well, one and a half uh, worth of generators uh, fuel here. Let's take that, put it in here. Come on, fuel. Grab that log. And 200. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll see 10, 20. Well, we can actually only do, with the stack size, we can only do that many. All right, let's put this back in here. It's worked out well, too, with only two workbenches and two chem labs. Eh, we haven't needed much more than that. 
All right, 16. So I think that's actually all we really needed anyway. But let's go figure this out. Let's see if it's going to be possible to hide the wiring. And you're right, Draco. This needs a clubbing like a baby seal. That's pretty cruel. All right, put this there, this there, put you there. So hopefully this works. Um, you know, without busting out glass there, I actually should have done that last. Because now I'm going to have to break out another piece of glass here. Son of a gun. Where's my, uh, where's my land clan block at? I don't want to waste the land clan block, or the, uh, lighting. Oh, that's loud. My goodness. We also have to hide this generator here. Uh, but what I was talking about, instead of placing a generator there and a generator there, remember that's what we had originally talked about? Uh, I think that's a waste. That's a waste of uh, generators. We don't want any more generators than we have to have. And I think we could get away with one. Now, I am going to have to go out and get some more generators at some point. We're going to have to scrap some cars, uh, do what we have to do. Uh, but that's absolutely on the agenda soon. Now what I might do is uh, I might go ahead and stream getting this stuff in order. Uh, the concrete, the little menial task like that, the, the things that are not so interesting. That way I can interact with you all uh, as I do it. So I guess I can go ahead and put one there. Uh, put one there. You know, I had to take off the inside support, uh, this thing here. I'm going to have to do it on this side as well. But I think once I paint it, boom, boom, it'll look all right. Uh, but we'll just have to see. We'll have to see. And if you have a better solution, uh, let me know. Uh, this is the only solution that I know of to make this work without having to add extra generators. And even if we did, we still have to get power down to the bottom. So... Uh, I think I had planned on that one there. All right. <clears throat> then grab that one. And go to there. Anything showing? Any wires showing? Nope. Only the ones up on the rooftop so far. And then this one here. And that one would go down to there. Let me go ahead and paint this before I do that. And it's kind of a tricky little thing here to do this. Oh, actually, you know what? I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't grab that wire without breaking out another block. But we have plenty of uh, business glass blocks, so it's not a big deal. Um, let me go ahead and paint this first. Now that I know, or I think I know where things are going to go. Um, let me break this block. And get, whoops, that light there. Right there. Okay. And we could also do the same thing over here on this one. You know, we could attach these lights. That's something I never did. I think I was planning on doing. We just didn't know what we were going to do with this room at the time, but... Pretty sure that generator over there has enough juice to handle that. Uh, question would be this generator down here. Once we fuel it, we'll have to, you know, sample that out, see if it's uh, if it has enough juice to power up. So that one, come on, baby, work for me. Do it, do it. No wires showing. Boom. All right, all right. No wires. No wires. Now, the last piece of the puzzle is going from here to there. Oh, yeah. How about that, folks? I think that works. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to investigate here a little bit further and make sure none of the wires were showing uh, from the top to the bottom. Uh, but that is a little tutorial for you, I guess, if it worked out, and I think it did, uh, how to get wires from you know, down a, a column like that, alternating, going back and forth. 
probably maybe the only solution if you have a single. Now, you could do what we did over there and leave a space in the middle and have relays going all the way down. You could absolutely do that. But if you want to do a single column like we did here, uh, that might be the only solution. Now, I have to go back in here and replace all of the blocks that I took out. Uh, bulletproof glass plate's going to go right there. I wonder if I can reach that from down here. No. Um, that's going to be a solid block right here. I guess we could just go inside to do this, right? Don't you break your leg again, getting off that rebar. Copy rotation. All right, well, that's the solution, folks. Uh, we have to do that uh, three more times. We'll do it here, uh, there, and there. And that will power the last hallways that we have remaining here in the base. Unless, of course, we add more. Uh, at some point, I don't know. Uh, I don't plan on more, but yeah, you never know. So the other thing. I want to go down here. I picked up the gas. My inventory. Might as well get these. Oh, well, you know, I shouldn't have done that, son of a gun. Can I pick it up? Yeah. Because I have to. I guess I could just break out the block next to it here when we do this side. But we'll worry about that when we get around to it. Um, let me go outside. <clears throat> Just trying to think of how do I get outside. <laughs> I don't know how to get outside my own base. Big old entrance over here. And someone was saying about one generator room. Yeah, you know, that would have been cool and all if we'd have thought about that at the very beginning of the series and building this base. But at this point, we're, we're you know, it's, it's going to be too much work to try to do something like that. I wouldn't try to go back and make a centralized, um, oh yeah, plenty of power on that make a centralized room for all the generators. We, we'd be talking, you know, another 20 episodes or more just just to get that done, uh, rerouted. I'd have to, I'd probably put it underground somewhere, but, ah, uh, boy, the relay, it may be more than 20 episodes. Think about all the relays I would have to have running from one side to the other, not to mention the fact that we'd probably run out of power even with six 600 engines in a generator because the uh, relays... You know, having so many of them in line uh, to get from one building to another if we did a centralized uh, room. But that doesn't look so bad, though. I was worried it might not look very good having the lights. But I think once we get one there and there, uh, it'll look okay. It'll look okay. It's so subtle. Those little dome lights are so subtle. Um, so, I need more engines. I am out. And I don't have a lot of time again today, running pretty short on time, but I do have about another 15, 20 minutes or so to put into it. I say we go ahead and grab our wrench. Should have checked the mini bike, see if there's a wrench in there. And I did not do that. And building, let's do a sort and then plop this stuff in here like that because we're going to need it when we work on this next section. So the lighting, uh, wood, I don't need wood, I would stick that in there too, boy, I just, I sneezed and uh, has me all uh, goofed up now, I <laughs> can't talk, uh, um, okay, well that's that, tools, 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 did I have a wrench, 550 wrench, we'll take that with us just in case. But I think I have one in the mini bike that's a 600 if it's not uh, broken. Yeah, I don't know if I... Uh, maybe that's okay. Having that little hangy down part right there. We'll call it the hangy down. Oh, yeah. I meant to bring the wire tool over here. We could hook that up now. We can have those going. Uh, oh, and also I could have... Uh, of course, I don't know if the generator has power. But I could have wired up the hallway here. But we'll get all that done all at one time one fell swoop will take care of uh, all of that yeah I do have a 600 let's just go ahead and grab look at all the duke coins i have my goodness we go to the vendor and just buy him out of engines i doubt he has any but who knows who knows 
Let's zoom out and Mr. Trader Man right there. We're going to stop by him real quick just to see if he has any kind of extra lights or uh, engines. Maybe even 9mm ammo as much as we're going through with that new turret. I think with just the one, I can keep up with that. I mean, I can make the bullet tips. I can make the uh, brass. And son of a gun. You know what I didn't do when I left? We're going to have to go back to the base. Uh, eat a meat stew and drink some goldenrod tea. I think I have some goldenrod tea in my inventory. Maybe he has some food here. At Trader. Trader has some food. We'll check it out and see. Save me having to go back. We can just ride in a town right there. And uh, I think. If I recall correctly, I think I have already scavenged all of the cars out of this city. A big chunk of them, at least. So we may have to go to the next city over. Um, it's an advantage about this game, though. He has a can of salmon. I wonder how much that'll get us by. Oh, I don't have any coins. Well, let's just see what he has first. You know what? He has enough. I can go from here, and I don't have to go back to the base. Enough food. Uh, let's just get a 20k stack. That'll save me. Save me a little bit of time riding around. Uh, a can of salmon. Boiled meat. A little piece of cornbread. We'll buy it all. Uh, does he have anything else? Does he have anything else? I'll buy those. Ah, 23 shotgun shells, not worth buying. Ah, there you go, look at that. We were able to get 167 of those in this one stop. Oh, I had to move the microphone closer to my mouth. I think I was uh, too far off. So engines, a 12 quality engine. My 11 quality, what's up with the engines? 106, why, why are they so low? Oh, you want a guarantee, huh? All right, I don't think there was anything else I needed, but let me go ahead and eat this. I think I have goldenrod tea in the mini bike. If not, shame on me, and I am going to have to go back to the base regardless. Uh, unless he has a vending machine here. That's something I have never used. Yeah, I sure do. Uh, folks, I have never used a vending machine in the game that I can recall ever using since they were implemented. You know, I don't... Uh, I don't ever have a use for them. Uh, even early game. Okay, well, let me map out where we're going. Uh, this city is cooked. It's done. How about this little city up here? I don't know that I've been up there to salvage any cars. I don't know how many cars will be up there. It must be some. It has to be, uh, has to be a few cars. And if we have the luck that we had last time, we scrapped about 20 cars and got uh, a couple purple engines, a couple blues, and we have pretty good success. My skill, pretty sure my bad mechanic skill is capped. And scavenging's getting up there. I don't know. I, I may start out the weekend on here. Uh, tonight, actually, after this recording. Uh, streaming the this Let's Play series and getting some more concrete work done. You know, it's uh, if you miss out on it and you're not able to make it to the stream, I always have a, a replay posted. And it'll be uh, titled uh, Let's Play Continuation, so you know. I spotted a deer. And I want that meat. Give me your meat, deer. All right, so off to the city we go and search for some engines. Mm, that's not looking promising. Looks like I have been through here with a wrench. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I've been through this engine or through this uh, city with a wrench already. Hmm. See a couple cars scattered about here, there, over in the 
distance. Might as well take that oil. We're going to get it right here anyway. All right. Uh, let's see if over here, if these cars were... Yeah, they're all taken down to the lowest quality. I see some over there, though. There's, there are a few, few here in town. I didn't get them all. I didn't get them all. Hey, lady. Oh, I missed my opportunity to blow the barrel up and kill her. So I'll get that. Four clicks. Four clicks and done. Yeah, she must be going to the uh, hair salon. You know, get her. Get her bangs trimmed. Oh, look at that! Five ninety nine and an eighty four. Oh, what kind of thing is that? You think there'd be a little more consistency with the engines that you get from car to car, but no. Five ninety nine and a and eighty four. What do we have in our mini bike? Five seventy three. Ah, it's good. It's good. I don't think we're really gonna get that much faster uh, with just a couple points. Same thing with my auger. I know someone said. For God's sake, please get your auger up to 600. Like, it's really frustrated with me. But as long as your blade is 600, the rest of it doesn't matter. It's just a little bit uh, for the degradation or the, uh, you know, how fast it wears out. But I don't have a problem with uh, the way it's wearing out. I think it lasts a good little while. All right. Um, there's a feather delivery system coming in at us. It's about to be 2200, so they're going to be running at us, which is not a big deal. It's what I'm used to. It's what I play on most, it seems, the uh, Let's Play uh, stream series. So, get over here. Oh, here, Piggy. You hear that, Piggy? Oh, I missed her. Oh, there's Mr. Piggy. I like bacon. Bacon and pork chops. All right. Well, a 600 wrench is not wearing out. It's good to see. And there's the buzzer. Well, that car is uh, next to last tier. Oh, she didn't see me. She did not come after me. Oh, look at that. Another purple engine and a green. Oh, I'm going to hit her with my wrench. Oh, I hit her with my wrench. You leave me alone, woman. I'm going to actually go ahead and heal up. Cause you never know. Dog horde or bear horde or whatever. They come along, might need those extra few points while I'm out here venturing. Um, well, there's a bigger part of the city up here with some bigger buildings. Maybe there are a few cars around there. I think two purple engines. If we could just get one more blue or another purple, might be satisfied. Might on, Might go on back. Uh, I know there's some probably some cars here. Let's get the let's get the headlight on here. Get the key to the gate out. Oh boy! Don't you hit me with your nasty hands. Oh, he had a first aid kit on him. Oh, soldier. Soldier unhappy. Soldier unhappy. Oh! Go ahead and stop those shenanigans. Right now, nip them in the bud. 
I don't see any more zombies. Not to say there aren't here some here. Come on, blue or purple engine. Blue or purple engine. Oops. Ugh, another battery. Guess we just keep scrapping those for lead, huh? What do we get? Oh, look at that. We combine those. Uh, let's scrap, 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 scrap. Sort. And a bunch of garbage engines. Ugh. It's a shame I don't have a uh, workbench. I can just carry around a workbench and a land claim block. Just plop them down on the street everywhere I go when I'm doing something like this. Is that lead? No. It's nitrate, though. It's tempting. It's tempting. Boy, you don't know what kind of urges I had to resist. Are those potatoes? Those are potatoes. I found a tater patch. Well, you can never have enough of these. Go along with all the meat that I just picked up. Mr. Deer and Mr. Piggy. I was looking at the one across the street thinking, I wonder if that's, uh, if that's blueberries, but I think it's a potato patch too. Oh my God. Goodness, dude, fell off the edge. It's all right, we'll loop back around. I thought it was going to be a longer fall than that, thankfully. Thankfully, it was not. And guess what? Tater patch number two. This is speed farming right here. You've heard of speed dating, but have you heard of speed farming? Pretty awful. Mm-hmm. And I guess we can go back with what we got. I let's see this little building right here if there are any cars inside. It's uh, hard to see through the fence. Oh, I see a car right here. Oh, and a zombie. Angry zombie. Zombie jumping for joy. Oh, another zombie. With no harms. Oh, a snake! A snake! A snake is killing me. Did I kill it with that thing? Oh! That thing took me down to 100 hit points. Do you see how fast I went down in hit points? Give me your meat, snake. Man. I didn't know they did that kind of damage. This sucker almost killed me. It's a good thing they don't poison you, you know? They poison you. They add a whole new element to the game. I kind of... Oh! There's our purple engine, folks. Purple engine. Purple engine. Purple engine. All right. Well, mission accomplished, folks. So uh, we can drop this back off at the base. And when we come back, uh, probably next week, we'll probably resume the Let's Play next week. When we come back, we'll have enough engines in the generator to power up all of our lighting needs and then some. Uh, that should uh, hold us over. Uh, of course, I do have to power all the hall, both the hallways. And so that's four strips of lights, uh, two in each hallway. I think those are blueberries right there. Those aren't potatoes or I'd stop again. Uh, so, I think with those three purple engines we put in there, should provide ample power to uh, get us on by. Get everything illuminated. Uh, but we will need some more engines. Uh, my plan is to have about, uh, well, I said 40, but you know we might be able to get by with 20 or 30 spotlights around the outer band of the base uh, once we get all that concrete work done. Like I said, I may focus on that this weekend. At least one stream I may focus on finishing up all of the concrete around the outside 
And then on the next week's Let's Play, not only can we finish up the lighting on the inside, but we can start to work on the lighting on the outside. Also had a cool idea about lighting uh, around the exterior portion of the base uh, attached to the buildings. Uh, maybe even underneath the buildings. I just had to figure out how I could do that if I choose to do so. Uh, it was just an idea. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to do it, but thought it'd be kind of cool. Look at that big old honking base over there. And we need to get the ramps painted too. We need to get those things painted. Yeah, see, that's not bad. Pop off back on. Oh, that's painted up real nice. Uh, we also need to come into this room and build a little thing going around our generator so it covers some of that up. So let's turn this off. Let's replace that with this. And you. And you. Turn it on. Look at that. 280 out of 483. So plenty of power. We build a power up uh, everything all the way around. So let's see what it looks like through the... It doesn't look bad. Well, it actually looks pretty smooth. I You can't see what I see. There's not. I don't have a way yet to kind of transfer what I'm seeing on here to, to you without getting so crazy with the file size. But, um, you know, it looks really nice. The reflections and the... Uh, the way the glass looks and looking through it. But anyway, we'll stop right there for today. Uh, join me this evening on a stream. If you have a moment to stop by, say hi. Uh, love to have you. Come by and get to chat with you for a little bit. And uh, we'll probably pick this up sometime this evening. May even have our horde attack because that's in two days uh, on stream. Uh, who knows? But we'll try to get all of that concrete finished down there. And all the way around. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your support. You have yourselves a good day, good evening, wherever you may be located. I will see you all next time.